Good morning. I have my pot of very normal coffee here. Hi, buddy. You know. Hello, friend. Get off the counter. A bit tired today. So I'm gonna start my day as I usually do. This is about 10 ounces of coffee. I'm adding a little bit of creamer and then I will go about my day. Right now, at this moment, energy-wise, I probably feel like a three out of 10. I am I am uncaffeinated, I am sleepy, barely awake, but I'm very excited about this cup of coffee. Now today we have a couple different errands to do. I also have some chores to do. I have some regular work to do. Stuff is on the docket today, so I'm gonna be rating my energy level at every single significant point in the day. I'm gonna aim to rate my energy levels at least four times today. That way we can kind of track how this cup of coffee kind of gets me through the, the ebbs and flows of the day. I hope that makes sense. And I still feel a little bit like death right now. I think it's time to tackle my day. At this exact moment, now that I have had my first cup of coffee, I would rate my energy level at a solid six out of 10. Let's get out of the house. Let's see if it improves. We have made it out of the house, which in and of itself is a success. The first thing I have to do today is, I I don't have to go to the bookstore. I want to go to the bookstore. It's one of my fun errands of the day. So I'm gonna go do that. As far as my energy level right now, I would give myself a pretty solid eight out of 10. I'm, I'm feeling good. I've had my cup of coffee. It is currently coursing through my body. I feel very ready and armed to tackle the day. So let's go do the first of our errands. back. In case anyone was curious, here are the books I got. We have Then She Was Gone, Mexican Gothic, and My Lovely Wife. I think a majority of these are thrillers slash mysteries, which I am very excited about. And then just groceries, it's boring. Although I did get new creamer, so that's kind of fun. As far as my energy level goes, I would say I'm still sitting around like, like a seven and a half, eight. Like I'm feeling good. It is 12.30, feeling very positively, feeling very normal. So, so far so good, we'll check in soon. Hi everyone. Things have taken a turn. It is now a little bit after four o'clock and I think I had a very steep drop off in my energy levels. I would give myself three and a half, you know, a four. A four sounds like exactly what I'm feeling right now. I was feeling, I was feeling good until about 30 minutes ago when all just did, all just went very downhill. So I think I need to go get some dinner soon, but 10 ounce cup of coffee is not lasting me super far. So it's a four o'clock and I'm at a four. This is your post dinner 6.30 update. I'm feeling mildly more energetic. I would give myself a five on the energy score. I'm also 60 pages into my lovely wife. It is very good. I will check up with you in about two hours. It's 8.30 and I just woke up from a nap. I'm gonna put my energy level at a two. Welcome to the bathroom. It is now, now almost midnight, which means I'm about to go to bed. I'm still sitting at about a two or a three, so I am back down energy-wise to where I was when I woke up. That seems pretty normal to me. I'm very nervous, kind of excited about what tomorrow is gonna hold, but I think more nervous than excited this time. Tomorrow's coffee is going to be interesting. It's gonna be something else. I'm curious if it'll drastically change that afternoon dip that I felt, but again, we'll see. I'm gonna enjoy my sleep for tonight because I don't know if I'm gonna get any tomorrow. With that, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Maybe it's a little bit later than morning, but here I am, here we are, and I am showered and clothed, which is good. The part of me that is tired and barely awake is very excited for coffee. The other part of me that knows what video we're filming today is very nervous. However, before we get into that, I do wanna give a huge thank you to our partner, Vessi, today. A huge thanks to Vessi for partnering with me on today's video. You've seen these well-loved shoes before, and it's genuinely because I wear their weekend model all the time. Vessi's are some of my favorite shoes to take anywhere from work to my everyday to even travel because they're so easy to pack and they're good for pretty much any weather. And one of the best features of Vessi's for me is that they're 100% waterproof and made from a dual climate knit material, which means that when mistakes, spills, or even puddles happen, my feet stay dry. This makes them both the perfect barista shoe and the perfect everyday shoe. But worst case scenario, since they're the weekend model, if they get really that dirty, I can just toss them in the washing machine. And believe me, with how much I wear my white pair, they need it. So if you want to match with me and get your own pair of Vessies, I gotcha. Because Vessie is giving my subscribers $25 off your purchase when you click the link below and enter code MDC. That's code MDC after you click the link in the description. And thank you again to Vessi for partnering with me on today's video. Now the average 12 ounces of coffee that you'll drink has between 150 and 250 milligrams of caffeine in it. And that number can kind of vary on the scale. There's, there's a whole lot of factors that can affect it. The main one usually is your roast level. Lighter roasts have more caffeine and darker roasts have less caffeine. But you can get down into the nitty gritty of whether you're using Robusta beans, which are way more caffeinated than Arabica beans, or 
or whether different elevations will affect caffeine or shade or sunlight or there, there's so many different factors but on average 150 milligrams to 250 milligrams for the sake of today we're gonna say that the coffee that I had yesterday which was a lighter to medium roast probably had about 200 milligrams of caffeine in it that's what I had for the day it worked great behind my back right now is one of the most caffeinated coffees you can find online I'm not gonna say it's the most caffeinated coffee because of course there are probably others out there that for some reason feel the need to blow this one out of the water or perhaps this one isn't as caffeinated as it says or there's a whole lot of things but based on marketing and advertisements this is one of the most caffeinated coffees Da, 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 da. <laughs> this is something, a thing from Devil Mountain Coffee. Let's talk about it real fast. Now, as I mentioned before, your average cup of 12 ounce coffee has between 150 to 250 milligrams. Great, let's just go on the higher end, just, just to be there. Let's say a 12 ounce cup of coffee always has 250 milligrams. That's a nice, healthy amount. Now, most experts agree that the average person should probably not have more than 400 to 600 milligrams of coffee in a day. That's kind of your healthy average. That is two to three cups of coffee. That seems like plenty. Even for me, as, as a longer time barista and I've done plenty of coffee things, that's quite a bit of coffee. That, that's plenty for your day. Now, of course, in the past, there have been many coffees that have gotten popular for being high caffeine, just the most explosive, insane, powerful coffees in existence. One of the ones that's pretty popular is what is called Death Wish Coffee. You've probably heard of this one. This is the one that most people think of when they're thinking about high caffeinated coffees. Death Wish Coffee coffee, based on my research, has on average about 750 to 800 milligrams of coffee per 12 ounce cup. So already that is three times the amount of caffeine in each cup than your average cup of coffee. Already that is plenty. That is, that is knocking your caffeine content for the day out of the park with one cup of coffee. That's Death Wish. We didn't get Death Wish. We got Devil Mountain. <laughs> the names of these coffee brands just really elicits just deep fear. Deep fear sits inside me right now. I guess I should tell you how much caffeine is in this. This coffee is advertised as having 1,555 milligrams of caffeine per 12 ounce cup. That's so much. That in and of itself is twice the amount that Death Wish advertises per cup of their coffee. And that is six times, which means a 12 ounce cup of this is six times your average cup of coffee. That's nuts. That's, that's, that's bonkers. That's very bonkers. Now I have not opened this before or tried it. So we're really just, we're just going in on this one. Now, allow me to redo a couple things on the packaging. The slogan that I'd like to point out is so powerful. It's a sin TM. This does feel a little bit sinful. Many doubts and nerves are happening within me. Now, some fun facts about this coffee. It is certified organic. It is called their black label high powered gourmet whole bean coffee. There is very little information about where the coffee is from. I am making a very educated guess that these are Robusta beans. But as far as what else is in here, this is a blend, blend of something. Besides that, not much else. Kind of makes our life simple. So let's dig into this and oh, they're dark. <laughs> the roasty beans. <laughs> Would you like to see the roasty beans? There's a crispy bean right here, <laughs> one might say. This is a dark and oily bean. Now, one thing I will say is there's a huge difference in the size of all the beans in this coffee, which is an indicator that this is a blend. And for the sake of science, I will show you the color of the beans that I used yesterday. So here we have your light to medium roast. And here we have the death coffee. Now I will say my house, it smells like toasted graham crackers. This smells pretty good. Like this, this does not smell bad. I have, I have opened up some dark roast coffees and just been like washed over by like that roasty, toasty burned smell. That's not this, this, this actually smells pretty pleasant. It's kind of sweet. It's kind of like s'moresy a little bit. Like there, there's of course just an overwhelming kind of like bitter chocolate. And then you also get some sweetness in like a toasted graham cracker, like bready sort of way. Bodes well. I'll be drinking this. Let's just make a cup. We have to get our day started at some point. Now, for the sake of whatever strange science we are doing today, I'm gonna to be brewing my coffee exactly the same as yesterday and how I do most days, which is with that handy dandy little buddy back there, the Bonavita. Some people have asked for a review on it. My review is I like it. I have used it for quite a while. I think it's great. No major complaints on my part. There is a lot of color variation in between these beans, I will say, which is not indicative of the best roast. Uh, we are here for the caffeine, I'm not here to criticize really anything else because I have a feeling this is all just gonna taste like one dark, dark cup of coffee. I guess I'm gonna go put this through my grinder now. 
Now, while we wait for our coffee to finish brewing, I thought we might read some reviews of what we're about to drink. Now, most places that this is listed has very high ratings. For example, on Amazon, this coffee specifically has 720 ratings and it's still averaging four and a half stars. Our first review is from Olivia, who gives it five stars and says, works as advertised. Now, the first line of her review is, tastes like cigarettes, but it's basically rocket fuel. Sean says, bam, pow, an in your face kick of incredibly sweet yet robust dark coffee. So far, so good. No jitters, but strong and love the taste, exclamation point. Eating the beans raw that have like a glaze over them must be the extra caffeine extract, but gives sweetness to it. Oh, Sean, lot to unpack right there. I didn't think coffee could taste gamey, but it can. Maybe a llama spit in it while I was brewing. The llama spit must have been pure caffeine because I was positively wired. Gamey coffees do exist, Amazon customer. Yes, they do. Amazon user A. Garcia gives this product five stars and says, won a chess tournament with this product. So there is that. The coffee's done. It smells fine. It's not as flavorful as I was expecting it to be. Be completely honest. It is definitely a very, very dark, dark roast. There is not a lot of complexity to it. It just kind of is. It's not very sweet. It reminds me a lot of kind of classic gas station coffee. It's not very offensive though, like to the palate, like it's it's fine. I guess I just have to drink it all now. For my sake and ease of drinkability, I'm gonna add myself some creamer. You know, with how much this coffee was built up, I was really just kind of hoping for like a jolt of electricity as soon as I tasted it. Of course, that's not what happened. I'm using an upside down fork because I have very few spoons clean right now. Cheers. You know, with cream added, this is entirely fine. There is, I have zero issue with this with a little bit of cream added. Well, I'm gonna go finish drinking this and when I'm all done, we'll check back in. Let the day begin as late as it is. I think I'm feeling it a little bit. Like my stomach feels a little bit jittery and also the rest of me feels a little bit shaky. So anyways, I just wanted to give you a five minute update because things are happening. <laughs> I'm only halfway through this thing and already I feel a little bit like my heart is about to leave my chest. I feel very caffeinated. And I will say the most caffeinated I've ever been in my life was the time I competed for the barista league a couple years back. This already feels a little bit like that time. So for the sake of science, I'm gonna continue pushing through. I'm gonna finish this cup. I have some errands I need to run. Maybe getting out of the house will be helpful because I think energy wise this moment, I need to put myself at a 10. Like I feel, I feel like I could run a marathon. However, with that 10, I do want to say that on the sick to my stomach scale, I'm feeling about a four. So <laughs> there is, there's a little bit of a balance here. I'll update you soon. One more desk update. That's that's where I'm at right now in terms of my coffee. And that's my heart rate. So we're definitely on, on the the higher end <laughs> of, of the acceptable average. I did it. I finished my, my cup of coffee. It is gone. I'm done. My current heart rate is 103. Energy wise, I think I'm sitting at about a 10, maybe an 11. Honestly, I feel very mobile right now. I feel like I could run around. I feel like I could lift many heavy things. So 10 or 11, as far as the sick to my stomach scale. I'm feeling slightly better. We might bump that down to a two. I do still feel like I have just had way too much caffeine. And with that, I know I'm talking very quickly and my hands are shaking a little bit, but I don't feel like I want to throw up. So that's progress. Let's do some errands. There may be something to be said about how efficient this coffee is at caffeinating someone. I'm someone who doesn't like to drink a ton of liquid. Th that is to say, I'd prefer to drink like a double or maybe a triple shot of espresso over two to three cups of coffee. Or one could just have a single cup of this absolutely demolishing coffee. And feel both absolutely dead and unbelievably alive at the same time. Your two o'clock check-in. My heart rate is currently around 96 beats per minute according to my watch. So there, there is room for air it's an average, it's, I'm just telling you what it says. Energy wise, I've dropped a little bit. I would give myself a nine, like a salt, like I am feeling more energized than I did yesterday at this time, but not nearly the like frenetic, just like jumping around energy that I felt while I was at home. So we're sitting at a nine. Caffeine sickness wise, I feel pretty good. We're dropping that back down to a zero. I feel, I feel normal in that zone. So about to head home, I'm gonna try to get some desktop work done. I have some editing I need to do as well as some other stuff. So we'll, we'll see how it pans out. 
that that four o'clock slump is coming up very quickly and I'm curious to see if it'll actually happen. Okay, we have we have made it to, to four o'clock. This is progress. So the good news is that I'm feeling very awake. Energy wise, I, I honestly still think I'm sitting at like, like a nine. I, I don't feel the need for a nap. I don't feel tired. The bad news is the kind of awake I am right now. It does feel a little bit like my eyes are just glued open. <laughs> My brain is tired. Mentally, I could take a nap right now. Physically, I don't think it's actually possible for me to do that. I don't think my body is ready to shut down yet, which is kind of a nerve wracking feeling and very much a symptom of being over caffeinated. So four o'clock, we're not hitting the slump just yet, but I'm nervous because usually when this happens to me in other times when I've been over caffeinated, it means later slump is gonna be that much worse. So I'll keep you posted. Four o'clock, we are at a nine energy wise, but we're in the scary zone, so good stuff. Stuff. Hey, question, how has it been being with me today? On a scale of one to 10, how have I been today? I, I married you, so I think I'm legally obligated to say 10. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> it's eight o'clock, I'm feeling alive. This seems like a good thing to do right now. I'm just gonna get as many things done as possible, I think, like I need to harness this somehow. Hear me out, what if I also rearranged my coffee cabinet? be totally honest, it's making me incredibly nervous that I don't feel the need for like an evening nap of any sort. I work a nine and a half hour shift tomorrow and I'm getting legitimately nervous that I'm not gonna be able to fall asleep in time tonight. It is almost the time I would usually go to bed. I have a little bit of a headache. My eyes still feel like they are being glued open and I don't think sleep will be finding me anytime soon, which means I'm gonna be a joy to work with tomorrow. Let's just come back to where it all started in the kitchen. Let me give you my final thoughts on today's experiment slash taste test. I think the number one thing that I want people to take away from this video is that one should be very careful when having coffees that are advertised as being extremely high caffeine. Now, if we're talking about this actual coffee, coffee in and of itself as a coffee. I think it's fine. There's nothing inherently offensive to the flavor of it. It's a dark roast coffee. So if you like those, you might potentially like this. Would I do this test of this sort of coffee again? Maybe no. Do I recommend you do this test? Probably not, or at least have the disclaimer that I don't recommend that you do this. But all in all, we did this together. I think we all learned something, at least a little bit. And if not, at least we had a good time over these past few days learning the effects that caffeine can have on the human body. If you don't mind, I think I'm gonna go do my best to get to sleep. I might go take a melatonin or something and try to go get a couple hours of shut eye before I work tomorrow. In the meantime, I am Morgan Drinks Coffee on all platforms that I'm active on. I post Instagram and TikTok content at least once a day. And you can also find me here on YouTube once a week. And if you would like to join us for our weekly shenanigans, feel free to subscribe. As for anything else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, a wonderful rest of your evening. I hope you drink your coffee responsibly unlike me. I hope you have a good day. Okay, everyone. I will see you next time. It's not working very well.